Somebody wants to come say hello. Uh, no. <laughs> no. No, I won't do that. They look like somebody's been feeding them well. Not as much as she used to. Are you happy with this guy? This is like the best thing that ever happened. Well, that would be a good comment. How much did you pay her? <laughs> she was overfeeding and all that excess nutrients and fish food and waste from the fish were causing a huge string algae problem. This was the perfect, for COVID, all of my friends who are very liberal, this was where everybody came. Okay. We came to my backyard and the heater now is in their yard, but I had a heater back here. Nobody would go in the house. They were really very, very extreme. This pond has probably gone through five or six different changes. That's it? Five or six? Five or six different changes. <laughs> Welcome to living the aquascape lifestyle. All right, Jeff, so this is home for 17 years, huh? This is home. This is what I've been working on for the past 17 years in different stages. Okay, so this is how Jeff Michaels of Pondering Waters outside of Detroit lives the aquascape lifestyle. Love the grasses, love the fire pit, and I'm gonna love following this pathway around and seeing your pond. I'm gonna ask you this question, this is gonna be funny. How many iterations of this pond? <laughs> multiple, multiple. <laughs> oh, somebody wants to come say hello. Uh, no, 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 I won't do that. <laughs> <laughs> He's a little killer. <laughs> He's got a lot of energy, how old? Seven years old. Man, I love the backdrop of those trees. Alaskan weeping cedars, along with the weeping beach. That is just terrific. Some nice fish. So this is your feeding rock right here, right? Yes, that's where my girls were younger, and even to the, until today. They love sitting there, feeding the fish, putting their feet in the water, having the fish nibble on their toes. Well, I don't mind if I do, so why don't you take the camera and go tell the viewers all about the building of this, and I'm gonna sit here and feed some aquascape fish food. <laughs> all right, so welcome to my pond. This is a 16 by 18 pond. We're about 30 inches deep in the middle. I've got our aquascape 1000 series skimmer and we have the new SLD 5 to 9 operating the two waterfalls so we have two 2500 biofalls over here filtering the whole pond and then we come over here and because this is my fire pit area we have another patio pond that we over here that we turned into a spillway bowl and that just comes right down here so we have different vantage points on different areas of the backyard this pond has probably gone through five or six different changes. That's it? Five or six? Five or six different changes. The original pond, basically back over into here, had a little four by six bog that went into a stream that came over to here. And I got tired of it. And then put in one big, huge 6,000 biofall that used to be here with a big waterfall. And here again, this is my R&D project. So whatever we do, we do it at my pond first and then go over to the customer's house. So right where Greg's sitting now is where both my daughters sit and do exactly what Greg's doing. <laughs> Putting your feet in the water, feeding the fish. And then as you can see at the vantage point of the backyard at night creates a whole different vantage point. This place is lit up. We got up lighting on all the trees. Then we go over to here. We got pathway. We got the aquascape pathway lights that are lying in here.
So for this entire project with all of the stone, 30,000 pounds of stone, the mechanical filter, the biological filter, the pump, the plumbing, the underlayment, the liner, all of the decorative features that you see right here, this investment would be about $35,000 to replicate in someone's backyard. Correct. And it is absolutely gorgeous, buddy. Jeff is a longtime certified Aquascape contractor. It's always fun for me to see how my certified Aquascape contractors, which are kind of like the Navy SEALs, the best of the best, live the Aquascape lifestyle. We're with Jeff Michaels and Sean Baker, the winner of the DIY first ever pond kit giveaway. And we are gonna go see a pond that you built when? Five years ago. Okay. This was a rebuild. I love it. This is obviously a gardener's yard. Hello. How are we? You are obviously a talented gardener, young lady. Well, I'm not necessarily talented. I just I love it. Things and oh. if they live, they live. And Question, are you happy with this guy? This is like the best thing that ever happened. Well, that would be a good comment. How much did you pay her? <laughs> the best thing that ever happened to you. No, he's taking care of me. I started this on my own. Oh, okay. So you were a do-it-yourselfer. And then, and then realize you don't do this yourself. I found Jeff because a leak sprung. You may not remember, but there was a leak underneath yep. here. And me and my father had repaired it. It took us hours. It was ridiculously hard. And two months later, the leak returned. And he came. And in like 40 minutes, and 150 bucks later, me and my dad looked at one another and said, what the hell are we doing? <laughs> but since then, Jeff, has we done the whole time. So uh, added on to it. the initial pond was kind of like this. Uh -huh. But now what you're seeing now is, is Jeff and a little bit of my green leaf. I, I love it because it, it spreads throughout the whole backyard. And That's... Jeff rearranged it because the waterfall used to come from a different direction. Yep. I mean, no thought was given to that. We didn't. Know. Sure. Obviously made it a little higher. So we get the sound. Yep. We never had sound before. And I bet you that all of these fish are your pets, aren't they? They were born here two years ago. And they're that because big already. I lost my, my bigger fish, so I had this little baby. So these are all two-year-old now. They look like somebody's been feeding them well. Not as much as she used to. <laughs> I had a little pond problem last month, and I wanted Jeff to come and clean it all out. And he said, well, he asked me a few questions, and how often are you feeding them? He said, feed them twice a week. That's it. You didn't see it. There was so much algae. What before. was happening? She was overfeeding and all that excess nutrients and fish food and waste from the fish were causing a huge string algae problem. And now it's been good since you've stopped feeding them as much? Look at it. Yeah. And they're not complaining. Like when I do feed them twice a week, I was worried. Like, are they going to be... You know, you know, pouty. But they don't eat as much as they used to. I could feed them five days. Of, uh, well, they're also eating day. the algae and the insects really? and the bacteria that's Who in the pond. that they could live without me? <laughs> <laughs> So what's this been like to own one of these? This is my life. I love it. And people think the, pa the pond is no work at all. Okay, good. Once a day I come out, takes me five to ten minutes, I do clean the filter. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't have to. Just empty day, the bath. Show me what you do. Just go here. I take the basket out, then I'll usually take the filter and the pre-filter because because you don't clean the biofalls out, you I let never you clean it. Clean that yep, out. that I don't do at all, and it takes about five minutes. And then you do your gardening. I do Pack garden. of Sandra, you got I all of your ground covers. Do. I love all the sedums that go around the edges. I wanted something that when Jeff and his guys come here, or when my dogs next door come over, nobody can destroy it. You can walk all over; we don't have to worry. That's fantastic. You know. And I could see that all these windows. I bet you every day you wake up and look out and see what's going on in the pond. Don't I do. Dude, it's my very first thing to do. It's your therapy, and I can see you've been reading a book back I here. Can I sit there and read my book with you? Sure I have my coffee. Can.
All right, original pond. This was used to be a bear liner pond. It was probably all of up to where this is here. So we actually expanded it a little bit bigger. There was actually flat blue stone, flag stone all the way around the side and all cemented together. And finally got the opportunity to expand it, make it bigger. And as a little bit of appreciation, what we did and the homeowner didn't know it is we actually put a fountainscape over here because of where the back of the house is and where the door is and where she looks at everything. Even though we have the waterfall that's pointing towards the viewing area over here, it actually used used to be back over here pointing towards the neighbor's house and you really couldn't see it. So I wanted a couple of vantage points for water movement. So we kind of put the fountainscape there and along with the waterfall there. So real simple pond. We just got a 400 aquascape filter on skimmer on that. Going to a 25,000 biofalls up here with a 3,000 gallon hour pump. Something simple. Just wanted a nice movement of the water, nothing too aggressive into a nice stream. This whole thing really started with your young son. Yes, it was my brother who said, oh, Sean loves this stuff. And we had, initially we had a pond right there. That uh -huh. was the original uh -huh. pond, a very small one. And then my brother said, oh, we need something bigger than that. And literally with shovels. And, you know, my brother said, oh, help you out. And he disappeared. He's never, he never came. <laughs> Same thing when he set up a saltwater tank. Don't worry. At one time you said you, with your son, you had 11 aquariums. 11 tanks with amphibians. We then, and then we had three saltwater tanks. Wow. Well, over 30 years, you've done a lot. Like I say, I'm done here. Sean's got the six <laughs> acres. I spend every weekend there. I got just plant and plant and plant. And, and this is your therapy, sitting back here enjoying your hard labor. Yes. This was the perfect, for COVID, all of my friends who are very liberal, this was where everybody came. Okay. We came to my backyard and the heater now is in their yard, but I had a heater back here. Nobody would go in the house. They were really very, very extreme. And it still continues now. I had people over last night. Tomorrow night I have people coming and, over. And they just love hanging out because it's so relaxing. Yeah. Here's one of your problems. That's stick food. We won't show the brand. We'll blur the brand out, but it, it's the least nutritional value food and it's filled with the most bad stuff. It's like Cheerios. What do you want me to feed them? Aquascape fish food. <laughs> this is, I'm gonna, look at what it says. I'll, Premium. Yeah, this that's that's what it says. That's actually. It's soft so they yeah. can digest. I'm it keeps my water clear. Yep. <laughs> Not sure what this says, <laughs> but I think it says stupid Americans buy anything. <laughs> We'll we will send you up with some aquascape fish food with probiotics okay. so it actually breaks down and doesn't cause the problems that you were having with the cheap food. Stick food is not the best food. It's filled with air. I love all of the sedums to help soften up the edges, well, the well, irises, well, the grasses, and look at the cattails right here on the edge and that's filtering out the water too. That's part of the ecosystem, that's the plants. This is an ecosystem and with an ecosystem it always is going to be in a state of change and what you want to do is you want to make sure that you dial in how your particular ecosystem works. There's five parts of a beautiful pond recipe. Rocks and gravel, plants and fish, mechanical filtration, biological filtration, and the pump and plumbing. And if you put all of those in in the proper order and then handle it the proper way. She was overfeeding her fish. She was feeding her fish a stick food, which is always filled with air. It's the least nutritional food, not a probiotic like aquascape cells. The aquascape fish food is actually made to feed fish in an aquascape ecosystem pond. So she had one of her components, one of those five components out of whack, over nutrition, and that's why the pond wasn't clear. Jeff knew that. He told her to feed the fish lush. I'm gonna say feed the fish every day, but feed him a probiotic food that actually breaks down the waste, unlike the kind of fish food that she was using. If you guys wanna learn more more about this stuff, please check out our link to our website page because we have tons of information about this. We want people to have good experiences with water features. We want them to be able to enjoy living the aquascape lifestyle and get things in balance. That's why I do these vlogs. That's why I travel around. And if you're really into this stuff and you're interested in our coffee table book, check out the link below because this fall, our coffee table book is coming out and we're gonna show how people all over the world live the aquascape lifestyle. I love my job.